close today. I went ghost today. I got least to say. I be focused on these dreams like I didn't sleep today. Y'all can be so amazed. Y'all ain't seen nothing like this. No matter how much I fight this, I'm holding tight like a vice grip. Only right that I write this. Feel the keys like a typist. Only plus I don't mind this. I don't have time because I'm. What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. The car officially has a full tank of gasoline and it feels good. It feels good riding on a full tank because like I have full confidence the car is not just gonna stop working on me. Not not that that's ever happened to me. Has that happened to you? <laughs> no, but it sounds like it's happened to you. Yeah, I, I know I said that like it's happened to me before, but, but it never has happened. When I was younger, I used to always put like five or 10 or 20 bucks in the car at a time rather than filling it up. I don't know if any of you guys are doing that stop doing that but you're just wasting your time you're just making you have to go to the gas station more times don't do that anyway we're back in Texas finally and we're actually in Houston for the weekend we got to check in on our house that we're building it's not supposed to be ready to December but like I can't wait I can't wait bro So y'all know every time we're in Houston, we have to do our research and try a new breakfast taco place. Today we're at Charlie's Tacos. It's like inside of a gas station. 80 reviews on Google, four stars. It's worth a shot. All right, so as you can see, we got four tacos here, three bacon, egg, potato tacos, one chicken fajita. And as a, a taco connoisseur, I can tell you, I think they might home make these tortillas. These look amazing. Now the downside of gas station tacos is you have to sit on a curb outside and eat them. I'd do anything for tacos though. The tortilla is amazing. The bacon is kind of like hard though. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Oh, I got a chicken fajita. I'm gonna give it like an 8.5 out of 10. All right, so there's something I need to get off my chest. Uh, some of y'all might've noticed recently that my channels had a little decline in views and I pretty much built this channel up. So over the last year or two, every single video has got above 100,000 views that's something i'm very proud of but if you look over the last month or two you know there's five or six videos that have not reached that mark and they're stuck at 70k or 80k and part of the reason for this i'm pretty sure is that youtube flagged a couple of my videos for profanity and i think that hurt my place in the algorithm youtube stopped recommending my videos to as many people but then i made it worse like honestly after that I released three fitness videos in a span of two weeks and I like making fitness videos but like statistically they just don't perform as well as videos on dating or habits and so instead of bouncing back like I, I think I made things decline even a little bit further now here's the thing man I literally pour my heart and soul into every single video to make sure it's better than the last video and like if I watch my videos now I know that objectively they're a lot better than from a year ago so to see that the views have gone down a little bit it kills me like it, it literally makes me sick to my stomach to the point you know when one video doesn't do good it's okay you know i can kind of rub it off keep going forward not a big deal but when i saw you know three four in a row do bad not only did it make me sick to my stomach like honestly it, it put me in, into a short-term depression <laughs> So here is our future house. Last time we saw this was a month ago. That's the same time that you guys saw it last and it was only just like the two by fours in the frame of the house. And since then, they've made some crazy progress over the last month. The roof is on there, the windows are in. They've obviously put all the walls on the outside of the house. They have that Tyvek wrap around the outside of the house. And that's really important. I'm not sure why, I think that insulates the house or something. You guys wanna like take a look inside the house? Come on. feels good to be home bro if, if everything feels so much more like big and open this time last time there was two by fours and wires everywhere this is gonna be the how to beast hq my office is gonna be there it's gonna be super dope now they've put the stairs in it looks like last time they only had the stairs halfway up so we could actually check out upstairs but i'm more interested in seeing like the main room right here dude this feels massive last time i was so afraid like worried i was like man it feels really small and cramped but like now that everything's cleared out of the way, it's huge. That's the kitchen over there. The kitchen island's gonna be there. Against this wall is gonna be 
a massive television. We're gonna have a big like L-shaped couch coming in through here. And through those beautiful big windows in the back, you're gonna see paradise. There's gonna be a long pool, some palm trees, some puppies running around, jumping in the pool. Well, maybe only one puppy. The brother man doesn't swim. Even the master bedroom just feels so much bigger than last time. And as you guys can see, they already have the electrical and the plumbing, everything's in here. The next step is to do insulation and then drywall. This is the master bathroom in here. Yeah, what is that? It's kind of weird. What? Is that Tej? Why is there Tej Hanley in the How did Tej Hanley get in the house before we moved in? You know what? I actually, I left my box back home in Austin. This is pretty convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and partner with Tej Hanley to be the sponsor of today's video. In case you're not familiar, Tej Hanley is straight up the best skincare system for dudes like you and me because it's simple, it's easy to use, and it actually works. If you sign up, they're gonna send you a box just like this that contains a variety of different creams and lotions formulated specifically to work together and give you clear, healthy skin. It's gonna make you look better and make you feel more confident. For example, you're gonna get their daily face wash. I use this every morning as well as their AM moisturizer. I also use this every morning. It has sun protection, which is clutch for summertime. And the best part is all of these products are made with top of the line ingredients like collagen and eucalyptus, which normally would cost a lot, but because T. Chanley sells directly to the consumer, you can get these for an affordable price. And because they're sponsoring the video today, if you click that first link down in the description, you can get an even better deal on your first box of T. Chanley. So there is a first time for everything. And today's the first time that I got somewhere earlier than Max. I actually showed up. Bro, we, we said four o'clock. I showed up 10 minutes late to show you what it feels like, dude. We said four o'clock, man. Look, dude, dude had to take a shit, so blame him. How's it going, brother? He still hasn't met, uh, he still hasn't met Rolo. It was funny. Bro. You say, you always say, dude, I always say, bro. So I was thinking I should have named Rolo, Bo, bro. But it would have been confusing, because we, like, we have Bo and bro, like, dude, and they would bro. never know who's who. Dude, bro, bro. Today, me and Max are gonna hit a push workout in the Beastly app. I'm on week eight, day three of the uh, the five day upper lower split. When we were up in New Hampshire and North Carolina, I kind of like took a week or two weeks off of structured training because we didn't have access to a legit gym. So I'm back on the program now. Let's make these gains. Gains, bro. Workout complete. Always good workouts here at Alpha Land. But let's get back to talking about the YouTube views. And I do want to say that over the last four or five videos, we've started to bounce back. I've made a massive effort in picking really strong topics and creating good thumbnails and also making the videos just as dope as possible so that the average watch time is high. And I think we're starting to, we're starting to massage that YouTube algorithm and come back. But the bigger issue here that I want to talk about is that obviously, I have this growth mindset, right? Like I always, I'm obsessed with growing in every aspect of my life, whether it's my dating life, my business life, you know, my personal life, whatever it is. And that has led to an insane transformation in my 20s that I'm extremely proud of and I don't regret any of it. And I also try and share this mindset with you guys, but there's also kind of a dark side to this growth mindset that we need to talk about. Look, man, it doesn't matter how successful you are in your career or your craft. Like if you're a YouTuber like me or you're a, a financial advisor or a car salesman or you're an NBA player, like no matter how good you are and how fast you're growing, there's always going to be setbacks. There's always going to be obstacles. Like that's a fucking part of life that you can't avoid. And that's why I always say that you are defined by how you react in these low points. You're either going to bounce back or you're going to spin out into a deep depression. And the way that you do this, I always say, is to focus on what you can control. So in this case, like I have to control on picking the right topics for YouTube videos and making the videos good. That helps me be a little bit more forward thinking. But the problem is it doesn't solve this, this intense negativity that I've been feeling. I was still feeling sick to my stomach even when I was looking forward to my next YouTube videos. I was still unable to think about anything else. I was so mentally disturbed. 
And honestly, I think that this is like my worst habit in life. I get so consumed by my lack of progress or my stagnation that it cripples me. Like even though I was working to pull myself out of this hole, the whole time, man, I wasn't sleeping well. I couldn't be present when I was with Julia. I was tired all the time and other parts of my life started to suffer even though I was starting to make some progress and bounce back with YouTube. And like, that's why I'm making this video because what I had to remind myself is even though this is not going amazing right now, like look how far I've come. We were just at a house that we're building. Like that's a massive milestone. I just launched the Beastly app and that launch not only did we have the most customers of any product I've ever launched, like we had over, I think there's over 14,000 guys who've downloaded the app. We have thousands of active subscribers. We made the most money from that launch versus any other launch. Uh, I'm not trying to brag here, man. I'm saying that I had to remind myself, I'm absolutely crushing it in so many other areas of my life, yet the only thing I can think about is this one bad area, and we all do this too often. We get, we get consumed by the negativity and we don't remind ourselves like how far we've come versus six months ago or versus one year ago. You know, since reminding myself of these milestones and just appreciating like my relationship with Julia, you know, the amazing 70 or 80,000 people who still watched every single video, that is what solves the negativity problem. And that's what allows me not only to, to bounce back, but to, to have a smile on my face while I do it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is something I'm struggling to implement, but I'm hoping that making this video makes me better at it. And honestly, I'm hoping that it can make you better at it too. So we're on our way to meet Max for dinner. It's an eight o'clock reservation. Right now it's 7.44 and we're about to pull in. But I just have this feeling that after I beat him to the gym earlier, he's gonna try and show up super early and I don't wanna let that happen. Like earlier he was saying he was trying to make a point by showing up late. Well, who's trying to make a point now, Max? Right on time. It's not bad, it's not bad. I was not bad. my car, I was waiting. And I was like, oh, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna be right on the dot. We, we've been here waiting. Like 20 minutes. You don't get points for getting in early. It's at 8 o'clock, I'm here at 8 o'clock. Honestly, I, I'm knowing to talk about, about getting places early. These are, this is probably my longest my longest uh, spree of getting to places on time, two in a row. It's officially that moment where I've ordered a margarita at an Asian restaurant. We're at P.F. Chang's. I'm actually gonna blame this on Matt. I didn't used to drink margaritas until a few months ago when we started coming to Houston. I basically invented margaritas, specifically mango. I don't think anyone had ever had a mango margarita for me. I don't think that's a straw, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Save the turtle. Uh, five out of 10 margarita. Consistency's terrible. That just goes right down there. Bun bunch of foam. Uh, it, presentation value drops it down. I had six. So every time I come here, I get these spicy Chang's chicken. Very simple. Chang's spicy chicken. Chang's spicy chicken. See that? It's actually got like white meat inside. It's not some garbage. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. Consistent, 8.5 out of 10. A battle as old as time. Rolo against the camera blower. <laughs> Back at our our second home, the hotel in Houston. Get out of here, bro. We, we come here so much that I actually went to Walmart last night at like midnight and bought a pillow because like the, the bed here is comfortable, but the pillows aren't that comfortable. I always wake up with like a cricked neck. So as an investment, I'm gonna leave this in the car because for sure, like <laughs> we're gonna be back here again. If you're still watching the video, I appreciate you so much hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you do not want to miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.